In the last video, we found out how to turn Jupiter into a star, and in this video, we're gonna find out how to turn a star into a planet. Everybody, much adventure here today. I'm playing. Hey, everybody, much adventure here back with another Universe Sandbox video, and in this video, we are going to try to turn the sun into a planet, and then we're gonna find out. How we do that we're also going to find out how uh, it affects the planets in our uh, solar system so stay tuned for that and if you guys uh like this video please hit the like button and if you're not already subscribed uh hit that subscribe button okay so here we go so here we got the sun so the way we did it for jupiter in our last video if you haven't seen that i'll put a uh, link right here to the last video also in the description we turned jupiter into a star the way we did that was we just increased mass because jupiter was made up of hydrogen so in theory we could turn the sun into a planet by just decreasing the mass. How much we need to do that, I don't know, but let's find out. So here, let's go into the mass of the sun. So currently the sun is one sun worth of mass, whatever that means. Um, and uh, it's very hot as we can also see. So let's start, I think let's cut it in half. Let's take the sun down by half. Let's start by that. Okay, getting very yellow. The temperature's dropping quite considerably by like, what, 1700 Kelvin, I think. Here's our planets. Let's speed up time just so we can see uh, the planet effect. And there goes Mercury. Mercury is gone. Earth is gone. Venus is gone. All the planets are gone. I did not expect that to happen so early. Everything is gone. Look, Saturn's gone. Jupiter. What happened? They're gone. Let's speed up time even more. Do they ever, do they regain their orbit? Or are they just gone? Let's follow Earth. There goes Earth. It is now a complete ice planet. Wow. Okay, Mars is apparently the only survivor. Let's zoom in. A little. Holy moly. So say goodbye to the planets if the sun ever became half of its mass. That is a checkbox on that. Okay. But... It is still a star. It is still very much a star. Half of the sun is still very much a star. Okay. Um, and look at this. So the radius now is 4.41 Jupiters, which is very interesting. Okay, so the sun is half of a sun now in mass. Let's take it down another half, making it one-fourth the mass of the sun. Okay. Surface temperature dropped. Not too bad this time. Um, still very much a star, as we can see. It's now one-fourth of a sun. Okay, let's go even more. Let's do another half, which will make it an eighth of a sun. Ooh, my goodness, it's still a star. You know, we, it's 12, it's basically, it's 12% of the sun currently right now, so. Okay, let's just start incrementally going down. Let's do another, let's just keep going down slowly. Let's just bring it down. Here we go. It's shrinking. Shrinking. Okay, we're now at 100 Jupiters of mass. Okay, so we're at 100 Jupiters of mass. Let's keep bringing the sun down. Slowly, 87 Jupiter mass. Let's go right to what I think the magic number is. 80, 79.2, 78.4. The mass of Jupiter. And it has now become a planet. The sun is now a planet. We did it. Um, as you can see up here, it is a rogue object. So what that means is it's basically a planet that does not have a star that it's uh, orbiting. Because there's now no longer a sun, it's uh, it's just a planet now. It's just a straight up planet. And it looks like as time went on, it looks like we lost Mars now. Mars is gone. Now. Everything's gone. Um, but we did it. The sun's a planet now. Now let's see how, sh how it's still... I mean, that you can't live on this, but... Let's shrink it down a little bit more and let's see how low we can actually bring this. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, 75 Jupiters. We're at 70 Jupiters. Keep bringing it down here. Let's go. 60, 60 Jupiters. Let's try to make it livable. Let's see if we can make it livable. Uh, 50 Jupiters. Let's bring that right down. Get that temperature looking decent we're at 47 jupiters look at the composition of the planet it's changing still way too hot though 
500 Celsius is way too hot. Let's bring that all the way down. 30 Jupiters now. Let's go down. 25 Jupiters now. Okay. Here we go. 25 Jupiters. It's getting a little, temperature's getting a little bit better. Let's keep bringing it down a little bit more. Temperature dropping. 22 Jupiters. Keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And let's trying to get let's see the composition here. Let's go and see the live a bit like life likelihood. 0%. Okay, so that's a fail. <laughs> that's a complete fail. But that's okay. Uh, so the radius is now only 10 Earths and we're at 13 Jupiter size. I mean, we did it. The sun's an official planet. It's a rogue planet. Just wandering around the solar system. What's cool about rogue planets is NASA actually believes that rogue planets going through space could be home to life because just some some of the ways that the composition of the planet could be made up with like internal heating they don't necessarily need a star to produce its own uh heat source as you can see right now right there is no star in our system and you know what once was the sun is it's 102 celsius so i mean there's possibilities here there's definitely possibilities um can we just shrink this all the way down what happens if we shrink this all the way down so Let's just keep going, right? Let's cut it in half. Four Jupiters, two Jupiters, one Jupiter. So now we're at Jupiter size, basically half of that. Let's see, what's half a Jupiter? What's, okay, we're at 44 Earths. Let's just keep shrinking at two Earths now. We're at two Earths, okay. Uh, Shrink it, shrink it. Oh, wow, What what is happening here? Oh, I think it's losing its gas. What's happening now? Is it losing its... Density, let's see, is the density going down? I don't know what's happening. The average temperature is going down. I think, like, is the planet doesn't have enough gravity to hold together all of its gas? What is going on? Fragment, yeah, it's like things are breaking off. Cloud flying by sun. Okay, so glass, uh, gas clouds are flying off now. Let's keep shrinking it. It's just, it doesn't have enough, uh... Doesn't have enough gravity to hold on to its own self. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's shrink it. Shrink it again. Shrink it again. And let's increase the time a bit. Spin it up. Okay, so it's at 0 0.7 Earths. I mean, this thing is like becoming like a fragmented. It's like a little, it's just like a little baby space object now. You know? Oh! What the? Is this the core? Did we just find the core of the sun? Oh my, what the heck is going on here? Oh my god. Did we just discover? It is too, it's too small. It's too small. <laughs> we gotta get it bigger. I think we just discovered, wait, let's go times two. I think we just discovered the core of the sun. Okay, here we go. So I guess it's gotta be big enough to have its own uh, gravity to make it into a ball. Wow, what is this even made out of? What is this now? Let's go see the composition. I think we just created like an ice giant. So it's 100% hydrogen. It is not like Earth at all. Uh, let's see here. The, uh, the composition of this planet is completely hydrogen. The surface is... Let's see here. Minus 122 Celsius. Okay. Wow. What is it? Wow, anyway, so if you keep shrinking it, I mean, eventually, it looks like it turns into a, uh, like an asteroid. There's just a solid core of solid hydrogen ice block. And there it is. There's what the sun once was. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Also, if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. I'm doing a lot more of these uh, questions. And leave a comment if you have a question. Because um, one of my awesome viewers left me this question in the last video. Thank you so much. This is a great idea. If you guys have any more ideas for what you want to see uh, simulated in the universe, please let me know. And I will definitely uh, give it a shot. Thanks, guys, for watching. And we'll see you next time.